there'd be such a weird building on the moon? It's almost unbelievable, actually. At least it's got a big glass dome to keep all the air from leaking out. What's that? Yeah, now that you mentioned it, I guess we were okay out there with no air to breathe. Yeah, I'd rather not think about that too much, I guess. Let's change the subject. I'm glad you acknowledged it. But, um, you know what? Let, yeah, let's change the subject. Kumbella? How is it that your ability to talk has also magically stopped the, uh, moving, the moving floor? Nothing to say on that? Fine, just turn it back on, why don't you? Hello everyone, this is Quiversy. Welcome back to more Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Last time, we went everywhere to find a uh, certain pair of bob in order to activate the cannon Big Bob to shoot us to the moon. And here we are, on the moon, in a mysterious building with some familiar looking architecture, I would say. I think I know exactly where we are. But when will they catch on? They will catch on right now. Who's that, dude? Whoa, that's Mario. So, l let's get him? Yeah, let's get him, dude! <laughs> the X-Nots are so delightfully stupid, I love it. But these X-Nots are a little bit different. Their clothes are black instead of white. Gumbella, why don't you tell us what that means? It means they are elite x knots That's an elite x knot This guy is the creme de la creme of the x knots Max HP is 10, attack is 5, defense is 1. He can use regular attacks as well as boosting his power or size. Elite x knots are tough, but you just have to smack away until they go down. With pleasure, good madam. You know what? I think I want to change up my badge setup again. But first, we gotta get through this fight. Oh, here he comes! Oh. Good effort. But not good enough. Oh, yeah! Yo! Mario, if these x not dweebs are here... That's totally it! Then Princess Peach must be here too, don't you think? And the Crystal Star must be here too! We gotta find it, Mario! <laughs> and now, we are officially in the x not's Fortress! This is the x not Fortress. This seems like a way to get in and out. The stars are really pretty out there. Or what you can see of them through these fortress windows anyway. Always love the theme music for this place. Good lord, it is so awesome. Anyways, uh, give me a sec because I need to do some bad shifting. All right, I have shuffled around my badges and I will go over them in my next fight because I'm trying something stupid. What else is new? Well, what do you know? We have an opportunity for that fight. This is a different theme than the one on the surface of the moon, isn't it? I think it is. Hard to tell. Either way, it's great. Anyways, uh, so... The reason I want to change my patches in that one is because I want to let these guys have a little chance to fight. So I took off all of Mario's power boosts. Gave him a variety of moves. I did leave the hammer throw... Um, stacked. In fact, I'm kind of curious with, with what I've done. How much damage does this do now? I took off Power Rush and all the Power Pluses and everything. It now only does three. Significantly less worth it. <laughs> but again, this is my own doing. Oh, I messed up that action command. Because here's what I wanted to do. I need one of them to actually hit Mario. Yeah, yeah, heal. I don't care. I can do that too, but with flowers. Let's give you an ultra hammer. Not bad. Four and three. Okay, let's not screw this up. I left the power plus P on, but now I'm not one-shotting everything, so I can give these enemies a chance to do their stuff. All right, please hit Mario. 
I purposefully tried to not block there. Because I wanted to see how much damage it would do. So these guys have... <sighs> Crap. How much attack do they have again? Is it five? It was five. I only took two. Basically, I wanted to see how much damage I could mitigate while still keeping double pain on. Like, it is now a pointless goal for me to try and be able to get hit without guarding with double pain on and take zero damage. I could probably do that with, like, you know, stuff that's not going to break the defense anyway, anyway, you know, like Goombas and such. But where's the fun in that? Although now I am wondering, if I took off double pain, would I take two damage? Or would I take one damage or would I take no damage? Because what I have right now... What I have right now is I've got the two defense pluses. I've got the two last stands and I've got P down, D up. Which gives me two defense, one third damage reduction, and an additional point of damage reduction. So what's the order of operations here? How, how did that, with a times two damage multiplier, lead to two damage from a five damage attack? I need to try and do this in my head. So, let's see. Oh, well, I'll have to think about that in a minute because we got a puzzle. It's not really much of a puzzle. It's a memory thing. Like, can you remember how to... Apparently, I can't. Ugh. Okay, I have to go all the way down. I actually remember that, it, that I think in the original you could see a difference between the right and wrong panels even like even after they reset because of the pattern but that doesn't seem to be the case here anyways we get an elevator key and then the panels turn off which allows us to get the item an ultra mushroom that's pretty good and I don't want to throw it away so I need to eat something and throw, throw it to waste uh eat space food we're in space. Goombella, have space food. I'd still like to figure out what its effect is, but don't worry about that later. Um, right. Okay, so... If I were to take out the defense boosts out of the equation I was trying to figure out, we would have 5 times 2 is 10 back to... Uh, then a third of that would be, like, 3. Which means that it can't be first, because if that was 3... Or if it was three, then it would reduce it to zero. And if it was four, which would also be possible if they rounded up, because it would be 3.33, if they round up to four, then it would be reduced to one. But it wasn't. It was reduced to two. So if I were to be doing it first, then that means we would take five, four, three, two. Times two is four. Then it should only one. Why did Mario take two? Why did Mario take two? That's something I need to figure out. Um, okay. Anyway, we've got a lot of stuff here, so I'm going to put this guy to bed. And let's see what happens with these x knots Kind of hoping you hit Mario. Mario lucky. I'm not getting rid of them, even though I want to do some science here. Although, if I had some more defense ups, I totally would. Hmm. And I'm just trying to figure out how the math works to get two out of that. Also, bingo, by the way. Just, just in case it wasn't clear, bingo. Alright. Uh, Goombella, let's have some fun. Multibonk. That was fun. That was what we call fun around these parts. All right, Goombella, just, just bonk him. Good job. Good job. It is kind of fascinating how, you know, at, at the levels you're at, you can easily make Mario ultra powerful death machine or just pathetically weak at the drop of a hat. Night and day difference between my two setups I have here. Oh, it's this room! I remember this room. Gears under repair. Unfortunately, there aren't much we can do. It looks like something will fit in that indentation. I can push the buttons, but they do nothing. 
Because there's missing gear. Hmm. Or maybe... What if... All right, I'm 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 sorry. I'm still kind of trying to to figure out this this math problem I've put I've put upon myself. How to get two out of those numbers? What if the double pain triggers first, which would make it ten? Then the defenses would drop it to eight. Then the the uh, damage reduction would kick in, drop it to. Ha ha! You don't know damage. Um. It would drop it down from eight to, uh, what would that be? Like, it would probably drop down to about three. It would drop it to three, and then the PFD down would be last and drop it to two. I think that's how it did it. I think that's the order of operations. So it goes double pain, defense, then damage reduction percentage, then damage reduction numbers. In that order. That makes sense to me. So, in theory, then, the, <laughs> hmm, in theory, then, then, yeah, if I'm correct on this, P up, D down, or P down, D up would be the better option to try and mitigate my damage with this bizarre scenario I've created for myself. Which is a good thing, because, um... P up, D down, and D down, P up. They can only be dropped from certain enemies down in the pit, as I know I discussed before. And certain enemies here! I forget which ones drop which, but the Elite x knots are among them. Please enter the access code. Uh... I wasn't expecting us to get one of these. Um... I think this might be the door to Grotus' room. He seems like the person who would put his name as a password. I don't think this is actually the correct answer, though. Incorrect access code. Well, there's nothing else I can do here. So, let's go down to level two. We need a gear. And we need a passcode. These are the things we currently require in the x not Fortress. This door appears to be open. Hmm. Princess Peach never saw this room. Bye! We appear to be in another room entirely. Where the heck are we? Hang on, before I open that door, I just need to find out. Goombella, please tell me you're going to break the immersion. Where are we? And why does this place look so familiar? She didn't break the immersion. Good job. Because I had a feeling she was going to tell us about the actual, like, zone we're in. Because if we open this door... Surprise! We're underneath Roadport? The x used use that thing to come here from the moon! You know, I don't think it's ever been explained, like, where the x actually came from, what they are. Are they native to the moon? Are they aliens? I'd like to think that they're aliens. Who knows? Anyways, yeah, we have a quick access back to and from the moon. So unlike chapters like five and six, we can return to town pretty much whenever we want. Also, um, don't think I don't see the gear there. Oh, I see how to, okay, I see, I see. There's, I see what we gotta do to get the gear. Hold on. Uh, oh no, not, not you, not you, not you. I'll deal with you later, sir. We need to go back up. Should be here. 
right? Oh, maybe I can't. Mm. All right, listen. I'm sure y'all mean well, but I just, I, I just don't, I just don't right now. There we go. All the power downs in the world won't diminish the strength of art. One more circle. realized oh man i just realized something Shh. okay it's fine we'll, we'll worry about it in the next one but the doggone you need to get into that room from up above in order to get to the the thing very descriptive i know the um the gear all right i guess you'll do Mm. Actually, I don't know if this will work, but I'm gonna try it anyway. We upgraded Potabo in the last one. I haven't used his new stampede. Call in a herd of Yoshis to attack all ground enemies. Alternately plus ZL and ZR, repeatedly. Uh, yes. I'm not very good at that one. Here comes the Yosh. It's basically a mass effect of his, um, his, uh, whatchamacallit, um, his ground pound. Yeah. Only it only hits things on the ground. Lucky! Yeah, I wasn't sure if it would do anything because, um, because they have defense. But I forgot, I got a power plus P on, which means the first hit does one damage. Or two damage. It does one damage more, which is enough to break their defense and therefore allow them to take all the damage. Yes! An actually useful star bingo. Go figure. I don't get that too often. All right, Potobo. Better come off. Bunk, 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 bunk. And yeah, now he does six bunks instead of five, which means with the power plus P, he does seven damage. Pretty good, pretty good. And if I could get another power plus V, he would deal nine damage, which is, I want to get one, but it's not an easy get. All right, uh, 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 um, here, you eat this. I don't want it. All right, well, I might have to solve the mystery of the gear a little later because clearly I'm not remembering something correct about it. Because I saw in the ceiling there was a grate and I figured you had to paper through, so you had to come in from the floor above. That was my logic. But there's nowhere above that room to come from. So maybe there's somewhere that I go up from down here and it drops me down. That's my next, my next theory, because I genuinely do not remember. Ah, look at that. Another new theory. Thing. Okay, well, before I before I deal with the new thing, um, bedtime for Bonzo here. Sleepy yucks. Oh, look at his sleepy face. He's so tired. All right, why don't you tell us about the x not PhD? That's an x not PhD. Guys like this invent all the annoying things we fight. Max HP is nine, attack is four, and defense is zero. He likes to throw beakers of chemicals. The chemicals do all kinds of stuff, like making things huge or burning people. He may also use potions to heal himself or make himself impossible to hit. It's not PhDs are really annoying, so take them out before they boost themselves. Well, let's see what he does. He has a turn. He picked a potion. And he healed himself from... Oh, okay. Sir, how did you manage to acquire a PhD if you are this stupid? Your head seems to be rattled. And now it really is. All right, Gumbella, smack the ox. All right, goggles. What you gonna do now? Yellow potion. 
I don't know what that would have done, aside from just an area attack, obviously. But I guarded against whatever it was going to do. And he dead. So yeah, x not PhDs. They're basically the buff enemies of this place. They're they're like the x knots Magic Koopa. I think that's a good way to put it. They're the x knots Magic Koopa. All right, what's behind door number two? I genuinely do not remember like the full layout of this place. Ooh, looks like they're building yuxes in here. Hey, speaking of yuxes, got a classic one too. All right, I'm just gonna put the z yux to bed so I don't have to worry about him. Thankfully, when they're asleep, they, as we've seen now, they do not summon any friends. And I see you've got an item there, Mr. PhD. I'd rather you not use it. I failed on the fourth bounce, but that's okay. And yeah, we got a baby X. Like a classic one. Lucky! Well, this seems like a good opportunity for a multi-bounce. Be out of All right, Gumbella, just kill the regular yucks. And we'll finish off Z-Man over there afterwards. Also, I'd forgotten that the z yucks are actually quite a bit bigger than the regular yucks. I forgot they were bigger. All right. Hey, we got the ruin powder that guy had. I don't want it. I mean, I kind of do, but I also don't. Ah, this is what it was I was thinking. Okay. So we do go above. Yeah. That's not the right spot. And it's not up this ladder. There is no item there. Is it just against, the, like, the back wall? Nope. There's some water dripping, but that's telling us where water is dripping, not telling us where the opening is. Actually, it might be telling us where the opening is. I don't... Okay, it was. I was overthinking it. But yes, we are now in the vents. I can drop down to the right. Or I could drop down to the left. And I choose that first. Because as we saw before, looky, looky. There's a gear over there. And you know what, Potobo, you could do this, but let's not keeps do it. It's a little safer that way. We got a cog needed to operate the crane. Well, let's go and uh, let's go and play a little crane game then, shall we? Actually, before I do that, let me finish up in this direction, just in case. No, come on, hey, buddy, hop! All right, what's over this way? Actually, hang on. Even before, even before that, is there anything else this way? Let me at least verify that. Oh dear, there is. Okay. Oh, hey! Star piece. There's only be like four more of those to get, and we saw one in the crane room. Okay, so there is one more vent to, um, to, to go through after I explore this one. Okay, we appear to be in the changing rooms. But Mario, what could you possibly change into? I don't know. How about 8-Bit Waluigi? <laughs> yep, we got ourselves an 8-Bit gimmick in here. And your partner turns 8-Bit too. So we got 8-Bit Coops. 8-Bit Flurry. You can't use their powers, unfortunately. 8-Bit Potabo, which is adorable. 8-Bit Vivian. A single pixel for a mouth. 8-Bit Bobbery. He looks surprisingly good in 8-Bit for how detailed he is. 8-Bit Mouse. And of course, 8-Bit Goombella, who is just a Goomba with a hat and a ponytail. Complete with the angry face. Because uh, Koops actually looks different than a standard 8-Bit Koopa. Like, he's fully bipedal in this, which in, you know, Super Mario Bros, Koopas were not bipedal. They were quadrupedal. 
Anyways, you leave the room 8-bit. But you are not coming out 8-bit. Fun little Easter egg. I love it when they do stuff like that. Oh, dearie me. Oh, mercy. Mm, yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Sirs, I'm afraid you must be slain. Yaks! Babax! Ibixa! Yabib! Axbixibzb! Axe die, die, die! Yes! I stopped their show dead in its tracks! The last thing I need is that stupid uh, thunder rage to come through and hit me and murder more than poor Mario. Because it would. Ugh, I'd like to keep this thunder rage though. I don't like it. I'll get rid of the other card shell. I don't need it. In hindsight, maybe I should have used some items there. <laughs> I could have. Ooh, we're in Grotus' room. And he's got a special owl friend here. Another classification of the yucks. Well, we've seen the regular yucks. We've seen the Z yucks. What yucks is you? This is the X yucks. That's an X yucks. I hear this is read as cross yucks, not X yucks. I refuse to call it that. Because these guys are X knots in the X knot fortress. If they are not X yuxes, but cross yuxes, then that means they are cross knots in the cross knot fortress, which does not sound nearly as good, in my opinion. Anyway, this is a new yux designed to protect the extra important areas. They were designed to be unbeatable. They're not. Max HP is 10, attack is 3, defense is 1. It can produce two mini X yuxes at once. And it has an excellent success rate of immobilizing opponents. We gotta do something about that if we're gonna win. Immobilizing opponents, huh? Well, I don't want to put you to sleep because I need you to summon your babies, so... I'm not going to make you tiny, okay? Come on, X-Yucks! Do your business! Summon your babies! Summon the babies! There's the babies! Mini X-Yucks, and it's blue! I really like the coloration on this one, the red and blue. It's a mini x -yux. It lives to protect the x -yux. Up to four can guard the x -yux. Max HP is one and defense is zero. Seems like they won't attack directly. However, you can't attack the main, one, the main unit until you clear these annoying pests out. So use multiple strike attacks to take them all out at once. Oh, I intend to, Goombella. Don't you worry, or Don't you worry, none. Uh, that being said, I am going to be switching to Flurry because she's the one who's going to be doing this. And Mario, wait for the crowd. Hello! All right, do your thing. Aha! A super god is that one. And now we have all four of the mini X Yuxes. And they're all going to go away. Bye bye! Uh, nope, not tactics, not tactics. We want to put him to sleepy time. Sleepy time! Didn't work. Now you're on fire. No, you're not. Oh, well, you got hit by fire at least. Oh, that's what she meant. Ah. Uh. <laughs> that's not good. Um, okay. Uh, we're gonna switch. Actually, no. We're gonna switch to Potobo. We're gonna switch to Potobo. And we're gonna multi bounce. It would be more FP efficient to wait until the all of them were out, but no. Oh, hey, defense up, nice. Well, the same is for Mario. He ain't gonna get hurt. But I still need to make sure I guard. I'm not gonna bother trying to super guard. Yahoo! Okay, Mario, you need to kill all of the babies. 
There we go. Ha. And finish him. Good job. We stomped that Exeox into submission. Unfortunately, I did not get a chance to roll for bingo. That would have been nice. Yeah, Exeoxes, they can be kind of annoying. Especially when they do things that I completely forget that they can do, like uh, stop you. Oh, he's got a little heart card on his desk. That's cute. The security key heart. A card key that helps open a door in the Exnot Fortress. I don't think it was ever security key heart. You know what? I bet they did this because it's color coded and they changed it for accessibility reasons. That's my guess. Can we get a disc? No. Can we find a star piece hidden in the rug? Maybe. This mouse? Sniff sniff? No, nothing. I thought there was a star piece in here. All right, hey Gumbella, what do you think about this room? What's this room for, huh? Is it some kind of office for the X-Not boss or what? Boy, what's with these tanks full of nibbles? Jeepers, that creeps me out. Ah, so that's what they're called, nibbles. I still think that the X-Nots are the ones that polluted the water supply with those things. Okay, well there's one more hole in that ventilation shaft. And I would very much like to explore it. Wait, what? It was, was, it, it was here? Did I misinterpret how far I was? I misinterpret, I, wait. Oh, wait, what? But, elevator? Oh, this one's red. I don't have, oh, okay. I forgot about the second elevator, that's what it was. Here's the room I wanted. Also, Gobella, what do you think of the Yuxes? This looks like a lab for genetic experimentation. Maybe Yux were made here. I guess they must have some pretty advanced technology if they can do stuff like that. I would say so. Considering they can just birth these things in tubes, they can put a colony on the moon. Gotta give these Exonauts credit. They have some crazy tech. All right, this is the last one. What's down here? <gasps> the lab of potions. <laughs> you can go in here, <laughs> uh, but you can't do anything in here. Oh boy. No, you don't, sir. I wish to fight. Hmm, double the science. I'm gonna use an item. Yeah, stop him. Stop! <laughs> Them and their clipboards. All right, get him, Goombella. Why am I so bad at Goombella's multi-bomb? Like, genuinely, I don't know why. I am, be I am, I, I never have a trouble with her head bonk usually. But I always struggle with the multi-bonk, just the opening hit, more than anything else. Except for the fourth hit, of course, but that's a different story. But I don't have that same problem with power bounce whenever I do that. Weird. Hmm. I don't know. But it's weird. And that guy's dead. Yahoo! We can push buttons. They don't do anything. When leaving the lab, always do your all point inspection in the loudest voice possible. Why? I have some stuff to do, so I'm not coming into work tomorrow, and that's that. If you don't put your name there, how are they gonna know which one it is? Keep the works, sorry. Keep the workspace orderly. Looks pretty orderly to me. Notice, new seminar, topic, galloping towards an era of risk-free potions. Participation is not voluntary. This is Grotus' lab. He must have his researchers work on various potions here. I don't think we should touch any of this stuff though. One wrong move and... Kaboom! Know what I mean? Yeah, I do know what you mean. 
Not that there were any potions in there for us to mess with anyway. All right, we got ourselves a science man and a elite man. Let's put elite man to bed. All right. Thank you, Fire, for waking him up. <sighs> oh, well. You might well just kill this. I was going to multi-bonk, but if he was down to eight hit points, there were no point. Here he comes. Lucky. Finish him. And attack! Nicely done! Yahoo! Alright, well, might as well check this room before I head back up to the crane game. Oh, another one of these. Yeah, the pattern isn't any different. Oh, I see, oh, wait, I see it. Off by one. Okay, no, I see where I messed up. And that, 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 that. Thank you, picture on the wall, for spelling it out for me. Oop. A sleepy sheepy. Not bad. Ouch. I almost went forward and, and, and got Mario hurt again. Which, thankfully, I don't think can kill him. I don't think you can die from field damage. Security key diamond! And... Power's off. I don't think there's anything in here, but Miss Mouse, is there anything in here? There's nothing in here. That's what I thought. Okay, well, I've got some security keys, but I don't have another elevator key. Which is interesting to me. I choose to go to sub level one. Because I want to play the crane game. There is stuff for us to get. Go away. Just gonna kill that guy. Screw him in particular. Okay. We deposit the cog. And now we have buttons. I push a button. Uh, push, push all the buttons. Push the button. Push the button. Push the button. Push the button. Uh, push the button? Help! The gears are turning. Yes, they are. Thank you, Miss Mouse. Care to share? Ah! Uh. How? What am I missing? Goombella, help! This is like a storage room for valuables. The crane can grab stuff up there. It should work if you said gear in place and plus those buttons in order. I'm sure you can handle it. It's not exactly moon rocket science here. Okay. There's only so many combinations. Let me just run through them all. One, three, two. Of course, as soon as I stop and try and... Ugh. Good lord. I want to bet I tried literally every other combination already, too. There's the machine. And there's our crane. Let's play the crane game. Oh, yeah. The crane will move left as long as I hold Y. And then move back for as long as I hold X. Use the crane well to get the stuff you want. All right. Uh, boop. Give me that star piece! Yay! 
Yeah! Then let's get... I think I'm a little short. I don't think that's gonna get it. Nope! Was a little off. Oh no! Try that again. Oh, that's... Mm. It has a little bit of momentum to it. It makes it a little tricky. Oh! No, no, that, that was... That. <sighs> I can't even be that mad. Because that's just how crane games in real life work. They're bandits, I tell you. They're bandits. All right. Got that badge. Now then. One more. That's all of the important items. But I have to get them all. I gotta get the coins. I mean, we're not even quadruple digit coins anymore. It, 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 just, won't, it just won't do to leave these coins behind. Nothing. Stop? Yes. And we get the Feeling Fine P badge, which makes your partner immune to status changes like Poison or Dizzy. And Feeling Fine, which is the same thing but for Mario. A very good badge. To be sure. Also, seriously, that is the most inconvenient storage room I think I ever did see. Like, why would the x Knots do that to themselves? This door is locked. Right, this needs the password, but I've got... I don't have a password. I have cards. Hmm. I genuinely don't remember where to go from here on, actually. Like, I don't think... I, I haven't gotten an elevator key, right? I don't know. Let me just try it on that elevator and see what happens. It should be over here, right? E. Work! Dang it! Ugh. And there was nothing in here, right? This is just Gross's room. I don't know. Miss Mouse, is there anything in here? Nada. Well. You know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and stop it there. And try and figure out what the heck I'm missing, because I am missing something. Next time I'm Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, I'll figure out what to do with those stupid cards. And we'll continue exploring the X-Not Fortress. Till then, thank you so much for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>